In today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how to choose an appropriate graph. So let's first talk about circle graph or a pie chart. Now for a circle graph, you're going to be looking at things that show percents or parts of a whole. So for example, in the example I'm showing here, we're looking at spending for a household. And so you can see that some goes for housing, some goes for savings, some goes for other expenses, paying off debt and transportation and things like that. And so we're looking at income spent on different budget categories and so that's the whole and then we broke that up into percents and so when you're doing a pie chart or a circle graph those are the kinds of things that you're going to be looking for for a bar graph it's a little bit different for a bar graph we're going to be looking at things that has one variable is qualitative and the other variable is quantitative so remember a qualitative is going to be like words like male versus female female versus female and then the uh, quantitative are going to be usually numbers or measurements so some examples of this would be like height versus gender airplane size you know versus distance and straightness uh, for the paper airplanes and then um, average rainfall per month would be examples that you could use as a bar graph. Now a line graph is going to be where you have both variables are going to be numbers or quantitative. So basically when you're graphing something over time, anything over time is going to be a line graph. Um, or if you're talking about like height versus age, mass versus distance, temperature versus time, those types of things. So if whenever you have time along the bottom, in this case it's days, time is in days, or degrees in Fahrenheit, you're going to have a line graph for that. So in the examples that we did in class where we were looking for different sets of data, when I was looking for information on a circle graph, I wanted to find information where I had it broken up into percents or parts of a whole. So th the example I gave you was enrollment at Middle School North. The whole is the enrollment and the parts are each grade. We also talked about the possibility of using data from the top five Twitter followers. So the whole is the Twitter followers for those type five people. And then the percentages are the number of followers that each of those people have. For line graph, remember, again, it's going to be where both variables are quanti quantitative. So I'm going to have um, anything over time. And over here, I have temperatures. And so I could use a line graph for that. And then for a bar graph, again, I'm looking for where I have it. Uh, the one variable is qualitative and the other one is quantitative. So in this case, I was doing, again, enrollment of middle school north by race, which is a quantitative. It's words. And I then have the quantitative data over here which are the numbers. So again you can should be able to look at the data to be able to determine what type of graph is best suited to represent that data.